guys, it's Erica here from Big Cat Creative and today we're talking about how to create a Squarespace template live demo and how to keep it running on a free trial. So you're thinking about creating a Squarespace template or you've already created one, but you're not sure how to share the demo so people can actually see it. This can be pretty confusing when you first start out. And one of the most common questions we get is, are you paying for all of those demos? Absolutely not. <laughs> we have about 17, I think, templates and I'm not very good at math, but that would probably be thousands of dollars every year just to keep those running. So yes, you can share your live demo on a free trial and you could link to it on your site so all of your potential customers can visit it. It's super easy, so let's dive in. The first thing we're gonna do is update our built-in domain name. Okay, let's just pretend that this is my finished template and it isn't a completely blank site. First thing we wanna do is update the domain name. So we're gonna go to settings, domains, and if you haven't updated this yet, you'll probably notice that there is some very random words in here for your built-in domain. This is just something that Squarespace automatically generates using random words and numbers. And so you'll probably want to make this something that's obviously a bit more relevant to your template, probably your template name. So let's just write template name in here and click rename. Now, if the domain name is already taken, it will prompt you to choose another built-in domain. So you might just have to tweak it slightly. So you'll see now at the top, my built-in domain name has now changed to template-name.squarespace.com. So that is the URL for our live demo. Now we're gonna set up the template's availability and lock screen. So first go into settings, site availability. So here you can change it from private, meaning that nobody except a contributor can see the site to password protected. So basically this means that anyone can visit the site, but they need a password to see it. So this is the best we can get without going public. And to go public, you need to pay and publish the site. So we're gonna use password protected. Now you'll wanna enter a simple password here, and I recommend keeping your passwords for all of your templates the same, just to keep it as simple as possible. So our passwords for our templates are just demo, but you could just use enter or template or just anything. Just keep it very simple. I recommend one word with no letters or numbers or case changes. So I'm gonna type in demo here and then click save. So my demo site is now officially live, but it's just password protected. So now if anyone goes to template-name.squarespace.com, they're going to land on the lock screen page because the site is password protected. And we can update the design of the lock screen page under design, lock screen. So standard Squarespace just has this simple page with the lock and a password. And this is totally fine. You can just leave it like this, but there is one thing that's really important to add and that is the password for the page. So if someone lands on this page and they don't know the password, we need to tell them the password so they can easily see our demo. So you wanna scroll down to branding and text and either in your text or headline or body, write something like use the password demo to view the template demo or just something simple like that. So it's very clear that the password is demo or whatever you've set. When you've done that, click save. And now if anyone lands on your password protected page, they're gonna know what the password is to enter. Now your demo is officially live and ready to share. So we can share it using this URL. So I just opened up an incognito window and added in the URL, and this is what we see. So if we type in demo, it's gonna open up our demo. So that's perfect. One really cool trick that is gonna make things even more streamlined for you and your customers is to add the password to the actual URL and so they can bypass the password. So I'm gonna close this incognito window again, open one up, and I'm gonna put in our URL. So we've got template-name.squarespace.com and then we're going to do slash question mark password equals and then you're gonna type in whatever your template password is. So I would type in demo. And this should just bypass the password page and take us straight to the demo. So that's a really good trick to use when you're linking your demo site around your own website, or if you're sending anyone to look at the demo, it's just gonna make it a step easier so they don't have to go through that password lock screen. But just in case they do land on that password lock screen, 
at least we have the password there written for them. Pretty easy, right? So now let's talk about your free trial. Your demo template will be in a free trial. If you're a Circle member, this trial will be six months long as Squarespace Circle members get the six month free trials on Squarespace sites. Obviously the six months is a lot more than the two weeks you get as a regular user. So you'll really wanna be a Circle member to be creating templates. It's just gonna make things so much easier. To become a Circle member, you need to be contributors to at least three active sites, which actually isn't too hard to achieve. But this video isn't about becoming a Circle member. So I've linked the instructions below this video on how to do that. I recommend you do it. So let's assume you've got your six month free trials now and you're a circle member, but of course that will still run out eventually, right? So here you have two options. You can either duplicate the template to make a copy, which will extend your trial by six months. The biggest problem with this is that the new duplicate will have a new built-in domain. So you'll have to actually redo the domains and make sure you update everywhere the live demo was linked. But this will only be once every six months, so it definitely is doable. But number two, which is the best option in my opinion, is to just reach out to Squarespace customer support and ask them to extend the trial for you. In my experience, they have been so nice and have always extended the trials for another six months. I think as a circle member, you have priority there and they're happy to just extend them for as long as you need them extended. But a good tip for this one is just to make sure that you write down when your trials are due to expire in your calendar so that you get a reminder to reach out to them as it often takes them a few days to complete and extend the trials. Now we have a few secret tips about fast tracking your circle membership and other ways you can extend trials that I'm not gonna share here, but I will share with those of you who sign up for our new program. So if you've made it all the way to the end of this video, I have to tell you that we're working on an amazing new resource for web designers who want to create and sell Squarespace templates. It's gonna be a complete guide to starting your Squarespace template shop from the ground up. So if you're interested in those insider tips and tons of other great info about starting your Squarespace template shop, Make sure you sign up to our waitlist so we can email you all of the details when it's ready. The link for the waitlist is below this video. If you're watching this in the future, maybe this program already exists. So in that case, we'll just link the program below instead so you can check it out. So hopefully I see you in there. Otherwise, I hope this video was super helpful. And if you have any questions, leave them in the comments and I will see you in the next video.